Hi, welcome to 90% Knitting. My name is Lisa, also known as Fiber Nymph, and this is not a regular episode. This is a shop update preview episode that I decided kind of last minute that I was going to record. Um, when I recorded episode 252 last week, I did tell you what was going to be in tomorrow evening's episode, um, update, but I did not have very much of it to show you. I only had the sock blanks. And this morning, as I was trying to get all of the listings up on the shop page, I realized that there were a couple of things that I forgot to tell you and a couple of things that I told you either incompletely or completely wrong. Um, so I thought maybe I would just take a few minutes today and do an actual preview episode. It shouldn't take very long. And that way I can just show you everything and tell you everything hopefully correctly. And then we'll all be on the same page. Um, and just a side note, if you did watch the last episode, which was um, episode 252, and it was the first episode I recorded from up here at the Mountain House, um, which is where I live with my husband, um, as opposed to my house, where you've seen me with the yellow walls for years and years in my office. Um, I was out on our back deck last time, which was nice because it was early morning, and I'm sorry, I'm watching the kitten. She woke up as soon as I started recording. She's been sleeping. So of course she's gonna wake up now while I'm trying to do yarn stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, it was early enough in the morning that the sun had not come up over the trees and it, the lighting was pretty decent. Um, it's 4.30 in the afternoon now and our whole back gets full afternoon sun. So not only is it too bright, but it's way too hot to be out there. Same with the porch room. Um, that's the downside of having a room with three walls that are all windows. Not only does it get very, very bright and blown out, but it turns into like the greenhouse effect. Everything's so hot, it's like an oven out there. So I am currently in our main living area. Um, our kitchen, dining room, living room area is all very, it's just one big open space with a very tall vaulted ceiling. So I might sound a little echoey. I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. There's not a whole lot I can do about that though. Um, so hopefully it won't be too distracting. Um, but the lighting in here was actually best. Um, we've got some skylights in here, which is really nice at this time of day. It makes it super bright, even though the walls are sort of dark from being a log home. Uh, I'm going to show you everything I'm going to be putting up in the shop tomorrow. Again, the update will be tomorrow, which is Monday, August 14th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, <laughs> I have a project bag over on the table and she's playing with the, the pull string on it. If that's all she wants to play with, that's fine. All right, shop update. Um, first of all, I'm sorry, I'm gonna reach because I have a basket of stuff sitting here. Um, I do have more s'mores swirl going in the shop, which I did tell you about on Wednesday. Um, I didn't tell you the bases all correctly though. I do have more bounce. There'll be four skeins of bounce. Um, and I do have, I couldn't remember which heavyweight base. Oh my, no, no, you may not go in there. Um, I have my DK weight base, which is bona fide. So there'll be a couple skeins of that. And then I told you I was gonna have bedazzled, but it's not bedazzled. It's actually another DK weight base, but it's a new DK weight base that I introduced at my last show that I did. And it is a DK weight base with sparkle. Isn't that awesome? So I hope those of you who like my bedazzled base might be interested in having it on a heavier weight base too. Or maybe if you like DK weight, which I know a lot of you do, um, you'll enjoy having the option of having some sparkle. So I'm calling this base Beguiled. Um, we have Bedazzled and Beguiled. So this is a DK weight base with sparkle. It's the same composition as my bedazzled base. So it's 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon and 5% stellina. Um, it's just in a nice DK weight. So there you have that. So those are the bases that the s'mores swirl will be on this week. So clarified that. Um, the next two items are ones that I did tell you about. And these are ones that I think I explained them as the fact that I, I had done these as color block gradients. That was a motorcycle. I'm sorry. Our, the front of our house is right close to the, the road and Sunday afternoons are a great day for motorcycles, really loud motorcycles. Our motorcycles aren't loud. We have nice, calm motorcycles. Anyway, um, these were originally color block gradients that I had done. Um, and I really love translating one colorway from one format to another sometimes. 
And I did that with these. So instead of having them in color block gradient form, they're now in self-striping form. Um, and they are both, ooh, those are, the colors are really showing up nicely. <laughs> this is great lighting. It would be awesome if I could do this all the time. Anyway, um, this one I'm calling dark to Merlot fade. And this one is dark to raspberry fade. So each of these are five stripes. They start out with a dark gray stripe and then they work their way through up to either this light raspberry color or this really deep Merlot color. And actually in this one, the light, it gets like it goes from the gray through some lighter colors into the dark Merlot. It's really cool. Um, on the listings, I have mock-ups of the colorways, so you'll be able to see exactly how they'll stripe. But they go from the dark to the far color and then back again. So they don't just repeat. <laughs> Cat just fell off the table. They don't repeat. They go there and back again, there and back again. I love that striping pattern, and I hope you will too. So there will be two of each of these. So again, dark to raspberry fade and dark to Merlot fade. And those are both on the bounce base. All right, um, I already showed you the sock blanks, but just in case you did not get to see it in the last, um, up this last episode, I will show them to you again real quick. Um, I did these as a resist dye, but I did them in very large resist sections, um, very much like um, the one blank that people had seen from when I did the, the bags with the coordinating yarn. I had done one that everybody thought was tie dyed and it was not tie dyed, it was resist dyed. Um, but it was just the way it looked because they were really large resist sections. <laughs> yes, one of my project bags is now on the floor and now she's lost interest in it. Okay, so this one is a really bright, fun, happy, summery colored one with the big resist sections right down the middle. And again, the resist is just where you end up with areas that are undyed and that becomes part of the design. So this one is on a non-sparkle blank and then I did one with the same colors, not the exact same configuration, but the same colors in a sparkle blank. So there will be those two. And then I did the same type of resist configuration with some autumnal colors. And I gotta say, I love this lighting. I know I already said that, but this lighting is really good today. And then I also did one on a sparkle blank. And again, the colors are not exactly in the same spots, but they are all the same colors on both of those. So there are those. Then I have the kits for the outdoorsy headband and neck warmer. We've been waiting for these for a while. I know this has been a long process, but I'm really excited about it. And I have bunches of kits for you. Um, I will say the really nice thing about these kits is because the pattern uses so little yarn, um, they're a nice affordable kits. So if you were buying them to make gifts or if you wanted to buy them for a fellow knitter as a gift, they're super affordable. So that's a really wonderful thing about these. But anyway, I have five kits in fingering weight and five kits in worsted weight. The pattern is again written for both fingering weight or worsted weight. Um, so you'll get the code to download the pattern if you buy the kit. Um, it's a free with purchase kind of thing. So you'll get, here, I'll show you the card. So there's one of the cards. And on the front, it tells you which yarn you're getting, basically. Um, and then where I'm putting my finger, that's where your coupon code is. So you log into Ravelry and go in and put that pattern in your cart and then just use that coupon code and it gives it to you for free. Um, so again, you're only getting yarn for either fingering weight or worsted weight, but once you've used it, you can use the pattern again with whatever else you have on hand because it's a wonderful way to use up leftovers as well. So let me show you which colorways um, I'm gonna have in the shop in the kits. I will have three on bounce and two on bedazzled for the finger and weight options. So the first one is, and they are all um, one skein of self-striping and one skein of a coordinating semi-solid. So um, in Bounce, I have one that is Chrysocolla, which is the self-striping, and the um, coordinating one is Sand. That's the semi-solid. So I think there's three of these, and there are four of all the other fingering weight ones. Um, the next one on Bounce is, ooh, this is really getting blown out even in here, um, Holy Brightness Batman, and the coordinating semi-solid is Aqua Shock. 
Those are really bright. And that, these just never, oh, there, if I put it super close, it's very, very, that is very accurate. Okay. And I'm putting these back in the bag just so that the cat can't contaminate them. I'm very careful with my business yarn about cat hair, just so you know. It is a pet friendly home, but the pets do not get to play with my shop yarn. My private yarn, that's a whole other story. Um, and then the last one on bounce is after the harvest, bright, and then the semi-solid is deep red. The deep red is such a hard color to get to um, film or capture properly. There, actually back here, that's probably the closest. That's a, a good color for it. Reds are hard, I don't know what it is about them. Anyway, so those are the three kits that will be on Bounce. Again, Chrysocolla, that one is only, there's only three of them. The other ones, there's four. Um, and each of the skeins is 100 yards on Bounce and 105 yards for the Bedazzled ones. So then on Bedazzled, we have the Colors of Happiness as the self-striping and Magenta as the semi-solid. So there'll be four of those. And lastly, for fingering weight, we have Barn Dance as the self-striping and Iron Oxide Red as the semi-solid. I love this combination. Okay, so those are all the fingering weight ones. And then I have five different colorways in the worsted version. And there are three of each of those. Um, and there are approximately 70 yards on each skein of those. And that is my cozy base, which is my 100% superwash merino worsted. Um, and again, you get the coupon code for free with these. So for this one, we have Bold Berry Swirl as the self-striping and violet as the semi-solid. And then we have one, well not one, we have three, <laughs> with margarita swirl and bright green as the combination. Oh, I have to reach, I'm sorry. Next up we have Summertime Blues and Peacock Blue, which that's a little blown out. It's a little better out back here, the Peacock Blue. Coordinates nicely with what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> and then we have Love Bite as the self-striping and Magenta as the semi-solid. My magenta is really, really getting electrified. Actually, you know what this, I'm sorry. This is not magenta. This is electric purple with this one. Sorry. <laughs> it's actually sort of a, it's a very tonal semi-solid. Um, it's dark purple and magenta and a lighter pink kind of all together. It's just how the dye breaks. I like that about that color. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, and then lastly, as I stretch way over there, <laughs> we have gray scale and silver gray as the coordinating skein. So, all right. So that is all of the yarn that will be in the update. The last thing that will be in the update that I talked about the other day is I'm putting some custom order spots in the update. I originally said I was going to put 10 in. However, this is what I realized as I started doing my listings. And I realized this every time I need to do listings for things that I'm putting multiple options in. I have to put a certain, I have to put a number for each option of how many will be available. So if I was only gonna do 10, and I actually have many, many options, that would be like, okay, you, there's one bounce option or one bedazzled option, and that's kind of silly. So here's what I'm doing. First of all, let me tell you what the options are. You can custom order, they're called Knitter's Choice Custom Order um, Spots. I don't know what I actually called them. I think that's what I called them, I'm sorry. But it'll say Knitter's Choice Custom Order. So you will have the option of custom ordering a self-striping colorway, either on a two, three, or four stripe colorway or a five or six stripe colorway. It's different prices for those two, that's why I'm specifying. 
or you can get a tonal or variegated and or speckled colorway, or you can get a sock blank, either a regular one or the one with sparkle, okay? For the yarn, for all of those self-striping ones or the variegated and tonal ones, you have the choice between bounce, bedazzled, both of those are fingering weight, or cozy, which is worsted weight. So if you can understand, those are a lot of options. There's three different yarn bases with three different dyeing options for the stripes and the variegated kinds, plus the sock blank option. So that's like a lot of options, and I had to make sure there was enough in there for people to have the option to purchase them. So each of those things will be in a drop-down menu in that listing. And there will be, to begin with, there will be five available for each one of those. I'm not putting a limit on how many people can purchase. Um, you know, if you want to purchase five special order, custom order spots, then that's up to you. Um, but what I will probably be doing at some point, I will be shutting them down. Because I, that's like, I forget, I can't, you need, I think it's eight options no, it's more than that. It's nine. 11 options altogether. And I have five available for each of those. So that's 55 special order items that I would have to do if they all sold. And I just know I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is as I sell those or as they sell, I'm going to be watching them. And if let's say the bounce sells out really fast for the five and six stripes, I may add a couple more to that spot and take them out of something else that isn't selling. And then once I reach a number of, um, of, pre of the pre-ordered custom, you know, custom items, I will just um, shut down those listings so they'll be done. Um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I know it seems a little bit arbitrary, but there's really no other good way for me to do that that gives you all of the options that I want you to have and gives me the ability to keep what I'm selling at a reasonable number that I know that I can meet that, those sales in the time frame that I'm promising, which is four to six weeks. That's what my, my custom orders always are, is a four to six weeks turnaround. I mean, there's occasionally something that's sooner, but these will be four to six weeks. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I do have um, links in that listing to my colorway galleries on Flickr. So if you want to take a look at colorways, you can go there and see them. Um, I will say that some of my newer colorways that I've come out with in the, I would say over the summer or so, are not listed. They're probably not up there in those galleries yet. Um, I try to update the galleries once every few months, but I, I get behind sometimes because I'm only one person. So if there is a colorway that you know of that you've seen in the shop recently and you really want it, go ahead and let me know and chances are I will be able to do that. The only things that are going to be off limits as far as the self-striping are going to be anything over six stripes. I'm not offering those as custom orders um, and anything that was done as a um, an exclusive, like a club exclusive colorway that's still in its exclusivity period. I can't do those for you. But pretty much anything else would be fair game. And if you are in question, just feel free to, you know, email me and ask and I'll be happy to let you know. So I hope that was not too confusing. It's much, it's, I've written the listing out as clearly as I possibly can. Um, but if there's something that you're unsure of and you don't want to order unless you know for sure, then please feel free to just, you know, email me and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, I think that is everything for Monday evening's update. So that's, um, I hope you're excited about it. I'm very excited about having these kits in the shop finally because that has been a long time in coming. Um, and I'm very excited about that new DK base that has the sparkle in it. I think that's a really fun base. Okay, and the last thing I need to tell you, and I forgot to mention, at least I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention it on the podcast last week. I'll mention it again this week. But I am leaving on vacation next weekend, next Saturday. And technically, I'm starting my business vacation um, on Friday. 
So I will be closing the shop while I'm gone because I'm gonna be gone too long to leave it open. I don't like to let orders sitting there waiting to go out that long. So the shop will be closed from August 18th through August 27th. Um, that's when we will be getting back that next weekend. And then on Monday, August 28th, I will have the shop reopened probably by 9 a.m. That's usually when I'm able to get that kind of stuff going. So um, it will be back at that time. Hopefully that's okay. And if there's anything that you need to order, just get it in between now and um, Thursday. Any orders placed by like 11.59 p.m. on Thursday this week will definitely get shipped before I leave. I will make sure of that. So, okay, I think that's everything. Um, Again, thank you for, for watching. Um, I hope the fact that I'm changing locations, what, since I'm in my new location, um, isn't going to be disconcerting to you. I know some people are probably like, just stay in the same spot <laughs> so you know what to expect. But right now I'm kind of enjoying having options of being in different locations up here. Um, so, and this one actually seems like a really good one. I'm not so sure about the background. It's kind of busy. This is our fireplace though, isn't it pretty? My husband did all that stonework years ago when he built, when he bought the house. I think it's awesome. So anyway, <laughs> just have to brag a little. All right. I will be recording again this coming week. Probably, I'm going to say probably on Wednesday. That's my goal. Um, and now that I'm finally getting the hang of my new software, um, I think I will be able to get it uploaded maybe a little more quickly than I did this week, but we'll see. <laughs> um, all right, that's everything. I'm going to go have a lovely rest of your weekend. And again, uh, the shop updates tomorrow, Monday, the 14th of August at 6 p.m. Eastern. I hope you found something that you like. Um, and if not, maybe next time. But thanks for watching. I'll see you later.